Hey, a Pisces. What's going on? How are you? It's good to see you, my friends. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Mags. If your first time here, welcome. If you're coming back, good to see you again. This is going to be your April 2023 monthly reading. This could be a generalized reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Cancer, Rising. Or, whoa. Sun, Moon, Rising Venus. Why did I say Cancer? You might have something going on with the Cancer Pisces. I don't know. That was a total slip. I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and get our energy cleared a little bit. And uh, I've already got some channelings coming in. I just had my Pandora playing. And when I shut it down, um, I had Incubus' Stellar on. So that song may have relevance. Those lyrics may have relevance. You may want to look into that. Deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Pisces. Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors and guardian angels, thank you for rising us up out of our beds this morning and thank you for connecting me with the amazing Pisces. Glory to the Most High for we are nothing without you forever and ever. Amen. Spirit, I ask that you use me for clear, concise, true messages for the greatest and highest good of Pisces, for their ultimate abundance, sustenance, success, love, joy, and everything in between. Very different energy. I just got done recording Capricorn and this energy is so different. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love doing these readings. Everyone is so different. Um, I'm gonna. We're gonna throw some archetype deck cards. I want to see just the foundation of this energy as we move through the next thirty or so days. Obviously, time is fluid. You know, take it as it resonates. But if it's not your story, certainly don't force it to fit. Pisces, let's come in for Pisces, please. I'm seeing a really pretty yellow and white sundress with like the kind of puffy sleeves here and there's ruffles on the bottom. That sounds ugly, but it's not. <laughs> it's really pretty. You might be wearing sundresses today, this week, I don't know, Pisces. It's about knee length. It's coming in for Pisces, please, spirit. Pisces, I'm connecting with someone who's giving, like you're giving someone a major cold shoulder. I just got chills down my back right when I said that. You're giving someone the cold shoulder this month. I also feel like you could be having a anniversary, winning an award, receiving a bonus, something um, that's a bonus or an award type of, of uh, gift from your work, from maybe your church, an organization that you're involved with. I feel like your analytical skills are also going to be very on point this month. If you don't win an award or a bonus or something, your name is being brought up in conversations with several others about this that are going to determine. I just heard split decision. Ooh, okay. Pisces, if you have a daughter, I feel there's something going on with her. Uh, oh. All right, Pisces, I just I just saw someone having a seizure on the floor. I may be connecting with someone who has a daughter that has had seizures or a granddaughter that has had seizures or this person has just recently had a seizure or may have a seizure in April. Uh, this person... Mm, how do I say that, Spirit? I feel like this person has just taken like a like a test for a CPA exam or like to become a lawyer or a doctor, like they had some huge exam and there's something about the chemicals of how this person's brain is made up that it like, it caused a seizure or it's causing seizures or a granddaughter, a daughter, 
a niece, someone to that magnitude is being seized. Their property is being seized. Their car may be getting repoed. I don't know. That's really specific. I also feel very beautiful, innocent energy coming in for you this month. If you're a feminine Piscean and you're watching this, you are very uh, beautiful, elegant this month. The colors pink, coral, and orange. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Maybe uh, prominent for you. You may want to wear those colors, buy flowers those colors, things of that nature. So it's really interesting. We had the empty room and the box pop up because these are such totally different energies for me. So this is about, okay, this is like a chapter where this is like the book. I always look at this as a tunnel. Each one of these layers is, is a different chapter or a different lesson or a different um, set of karma skills that you had to go through. But this is where you're ending. This is the end card. So I feel like you've really made space for new energy, for new abundance to come in. I also feel like you've been doing some serious spring cleaning. Maybe you've had a garage sale or a yard sale. Uh, I actually am seeing furniture being loaded into the back of a pickup truck right now. You may be moving. You may be selling furniture to somebody. Okay, let's go ahead and get into our, our regular tarot here. This is going to be my fountain tarot deck. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Let's put in for Pisces spirit. Who is this? That's not you. Who is it? Ooh. Someone near and dear to you is going through a divorce or a massive breakup. A foundation has completely fallen out. This couple is no longer going to be together. Yeah. Ooh, and it's somehow affecting you and putting you in your head. Maybe you feel like you're torn in the middle of this. Maybe this these people or one of these people has come to you for advice and now you're in your head about it because you feel like you didn't give the right advice. You almost didn't even want to have the conversation, but you did. Anyways, you were very brave and courageous in doing so. And Spirit is acknowledging you did the best you could and that you should feel okay about it. Yeah, these people want to talk to you. You may work with one of these people. These people, one of these people may want to start a business with you now that they're separated from their spouse or whoever. This person has horrible anxiety. Pisces, your eye. It's both of yours. Whoever this person is that's going through a divorce has bad anxiety. I also feel like they cause you anxiety, but you also are having some serious anxiety at this time, Pisces. About work, work related. I feel like you maybe have just come back from a vacation or taking a break. Yeah, you traveled. You just got done traveling or you're about to get done traveling, maybe for spring break or something to that effect. You're coming out of rest mode. Uh, you're finally receiving some clarity on uh, maybe just how far behind you've fallen on work or um, I'm now seeing someone take water and put it on their face, like refreshed. You feel refreshed, but there's a lot of anxiety coming back to work or something with that. I don't know. There may be a Libra in bringing you a really good opportunity this month as well. You may work with a Libra. In. Maybe you're working on a project with a Libra and it's going to go very successfully. What next? There you are. You got, who is you? You're dealing with a cancer here. Who is this?
anyone coming into your energy right now that's a Cancer Pisces is very much wanting to be a teammate or a partner with you or like the conversations really flow very well. I feel like the two of you could be making money together. I feel like it's a really good uh, like a tennis match where they do work, you do work. And it's like a, it's like a team effort. Even if, if you're in competition with this person, at the end of the day, you're still a team. Does that make sense? You may be going up against a, a Leo that is out of alignment that you work with. There you are. You found something out. Ooh. Pisces, you found something out about a Leo and an Aquarius. Both are in the reverse. The moon is in the reverse, meaning it was revealed to you. This did not make you happy. These two are not happy together. If they had like a secret, something secretive going on at work or something, this feels work-related. I feel like there's a secret love affair at your work you found out about, Pisces. It's so weird. I don't know. If it wasn't at work, maybe you're finding out about this. Maybe that's why this couple's divorcing because of something like this. You've been tapping into this energy because you saw it. You felt it. Again, there's a cancer involved somewhere in here. I don't know. Tell me more. Conflict. Hello. Arguments. Conflict. Uncomfortable conversations. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Two of Wands in the reverse. You want nothing to do with it. Where did that card go? Oh. Yeah, Six of Swords. You want nothing to do with it. Leaving it in the past. Two of Pentacles. You've already made your mind up on this. Whatever this is, once you found out about this situation, this could also be like at an organization you're a part of, maybe like a, a VFW, an American Legion, a church, um, whatever. You found out about something that really rubbed you the wrong way and now like you don't even want to be a part of it. Like it killed the vibe for you. And I know as much as that might have hurt, I feel like this is a blessing in disguise. If this is work-related, like, it's enough to make you want to quit your job now. That sucks. I once worked for a company where there was a secret love affair going on between my boss and one of the colleagues that I worked with. And it just, I knew it was going on. I was one of the only two that did, but it was awful. It was absolutely awful, yeah. I feel like you're reconnecting with people from your past, work-related. Someone who is like more stable and grounded, potential Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or someone who has that in their chart, you're missing the maturity, the responsibility, or the, the fruitfulness. This person was like really good at manifesting when they wanted to, like drop of a hat, can manifest, whatever. Everybody was very magnetized to this person. That's why you want to work with them again. Yeah, Knight of Wands. This person may be coming towards you to ask if you would like to collaborate with them uh, or see how you're doing, checking in on your job, things like that. All right, let's switch. I want to clear this energy. This is too many other people's energies. I want to focus in on yours. I'm going to throw some for yours and then I'm going to throw some for your person, okay? Spirit, what's coming in for Pisces alone? No other energies. What's coming in for Pisces alone during April, please? Pisces, you're so friendly. You have so many friends and, and whatnot. I feel like you're always kind of in the middle of stuff. And that's what this energy feels like. This whole month just feels like there's so many people coming to you for advice or you're constantly around people. You don't get a lot of alone time. I don't know. That's kind of what I'm feeling for April. Thank you. Queen of Materials in the reverse. And it came out in the upright for that other person.
Pisces, I'm seeing a job change. I'm seeing a big job change. Your passion is not there anymore. You're no longer interested. I also feel like you don't feel you're making enough money or like compared to what others in your industry make, you're not making the same. I don't know. I'm, I'm picking that up. What else is coming in for Pisces for April, please? Thank you. Hanged man in the reverse. Yeah, this has been on your mind for a very long time. If you're involved with a project or a group of people or something, it's not going in, in the way you wanted it to, you're out. Like Pisces has left the building. I can feel it. Like the minute a Piscean gets really perturbed, it's just like a cold-blooded. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Seven of Swords, you're going to make a, a quick leave on this and no one's going to know. Even your own boss's intuition is going to be off, man. Like, why? I also feel like you're doing something a little sketchy or shady you shouldn't be doing, Pisces. And I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. And it's only between you and I. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just going to leave that there. Be careful. Look at that. All right, so the 6th on Thursday this week, we have a pink moon. Look what card came out. That day is going to be hella significant for you, whether it's energetically shifting your mentality, new opportunities, something big is going to happen on that day. I also would advise you to go back in on your phone and look at uh, April 6th last year. Text messages, pictures, anything that would have that date on it, there might be relevance to that. Final card. What's coming in for Pisces alone? Thank you. Woo! All right, that's too many. We got the four of inspiration. I love it. This is like full alignment with yourself, with your divine and masculine energy, uh, or divine feminine and divine masculine energy. I love this. This is really partnering up with your shadow side just as much as your light side. Um, again, those pinks, oranges, color, uh, coral type colors are really significant. Yeah. Getting a lot of clarity this month. So let's check in on your person. Which deck? All right. Golden Girls it is. I haven't used this deck yet this month. I love this deck. This is such a fun deck. All right, Spirit, what say you about Pisces person? Whoever Pisces is thinking of right now, what do you have to say about them, Spirit? Talk to me. I am seeing very bright blue eyes. Bright blue eyes that may or may not correlate. You really inspire this person, Pisces. This person, um, if you are not in communication, they do not want to leave. Uh, they are not ready to move on from the past or they're not able to move on from the past. Pisces, if you have not been in communication with this person, that is about to completely shift. Hermit in the reverse. This person could have Virgo in their chart. This person wants to apologize to you. I get the feeling that you want to apologize to this person and they won't know why, but you'll apologize because maybe you talked crap about them really bad to somebody and you feel like you need to apologize for that, but you're not going to tell them why you're apologizing. You'll just say, oh, I'm sorry too. <laughs> Pisces, stop. <laughs> Y'all crack me up. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry too. I'm sorry too. Two of cups. <laughs> Y'all love each other. This is cute. All right. 
Yeah, four swords in the reverse. That restation time, that break, whatever's been going on. If, it, if the energy's been kind of weird and, and not a lot of communication, that is completely shifting here. Yeah, judgment and the sun. We got a lot of happiness coming in. So uh, let's wrap it up here. Final messages for Pisces. Advice from spirit, please. Also, Pisces, please check out my other channel, Soul on Fire TV. It's a fantastic um, new channel that I am adding content to, nothing related to a tarot. It's going to be more of a um, health and wellness channel, focusing on everything from physical well-being to mental health to inspiration to all different types of stuff. So again, that's Soul on Fire TV. Please subscribe. I would appreciate all of your support very, very, very much. Um, yeah. Check it out. Advice for Pisces. Final message. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Adjustments are being are required. We've got the third quarter moon here. And then we also had don't let your pride get in the way. Leo energy. Don't let your pride get in the way of refining your energy or admitting mistakes or asking for forgiveness or forgiving yourself, more importantly. I feel like that's kind of what Spirit's talking about there with that one. Final message. These cards are all over the place. Thanks for stopping by, Pisces. If you enjoyed this reading, let me know. I appreciate all your comments. Love uh, to chatting with y'all. If you'd like to go a little bit further on a private one-on-one, -on -one, all readings are $20 each uh, for the month of April. So uh, feel free to take part of that. And uh, again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leo again. Look at this. Confidence is your key to success. All right, Pisces, you're headed in the right direction. Congratulations. I hope it was one of your best birthdays yet, by the way. Uh, happy belated. And in the meantime, if this is where we part ways my darling dears i hope you have a fantastic rest of your week i will be back with mid-monthlies and we will go from there so all my love bye